Hey, 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 Whipper Snap is this Tormer the Gray. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Tort Tonks Vlogs. Uh, today, well, exciting might not be the right word, I guess. Um, and vlog might not be the right word either, I guess, as, as I'm thinking through it. But uh, unfortunately, it's been really rainy and gross here. Um, and so doing the vlog out in the backyard like we would normally do um, is not really going to work out quite as well. Um, this is not a great matchup. Um, and uh, do it, so doing it in the backyard is not going to work out quite as well. And unfortunately, um, my office, uh, where we would otherwise be recording these, is uh, is doesn't have great lighting, and it's otherwise in disarray right now. So um, yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be doing this in game. And I figured let's do Overwatch because I'm trying to trying to earn a loot box in this game anyway. Um, and and so that'll kind of kill two birds for once with one stone for me. Um, yes. Um, so what are we talking about today is, um, uh, unfortunate a bit, um, and, but it's something that needs to happen, uh, and that's going to be me stepping away from, uh, from YouTube, uh, for a while, going on a bit of a sabbatical, a little bit of a hiatus, um, and, uh, it's not as bad as it sounds, but, uh, I do, I do have some things that I really need to take care of, and unfortunately, uh, should have been taken care of for, like, the last four years or so, and just haven't been doing it, uh, because of YouTube, um, but at this point I, I need, I need to, you know, become an adult and kind of do some of these, do some of these things. So, um, you know, uh, it, it's, um, it's thankfully good timing for the channel, uh, in that summer is often a kind of a difficult time for me anyway. Uh, and so, you know, whereas in summer, I don't really have a lot of time to do a lot of youtube -y kind of stuff. Um, it, it, it works out that we would kind of be taking a break during that time anyway. Um, uh, but there's a couple of things that precipitate this, and I wanted to kind of run through those things with you guys so that you kind of understand where I'm coming from on this, and, um, and you don't feel, you know, like, you know, betrayed or whatever as, uh, as, as things stop, uh, stop happening here. Um, so essentially what it comes down to is I just have a number of things, you know, personal, professional, health-wise, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of really legitimate reasons that even, you know, by themselves would be good enough reasons to do this. Um, but, uh, that, uh, uh altogether kind of necessitate me taking this action. Um, I, I guess let's start with health wise. Um, largely, um, I haven't taken very good care of myself over the last four years of doing YouTube. Um, I've, I probably put on somewhere close to 40 to 50 pounds, uh, since I started doing YouTube and, um, it's amazing how when your when your job uh, is a desk job and you sit behind a computer all day, uh, and then your your hobby relaxation thing is to come home and sit behind a computer all, all night, it's kind of astounding how little exercise you actually end up getting uh, in that scenario. <laughs> uh, and uh, and as such, I've I've become pretty sedentary. Um, and and you know take the dog on walks every you know a couple times a week and things like that, but nothing really strenuous, nothing that's really you know um, you no. Know, burning calories a whole lot things like that he's not a big dog so uh, you know we go any real big long pace and um and he kind of poops out a little bit and uh i've got asthma too so doing a lot of that kind of stuff isn't really necessarily super comfortable for me so i i haven't done it you know forced it either and um and so it's just one thing's led to another and i put on a ton of weight um and uh, i'm not really very healthy and um with my whole family genetics and everything like that, on both sides of my family, um, I'm genetically predisposed to um, a lot of obesity-related issues, like heart problems, like diabetes, like um, you know all these all these other things that we can potentially get into. Um, I'm pretty much just predisposed to all of it. So um, I need to I need to take some time and I need to get myself while I'm still young and capable of making reasonable change. I need to go ahead and and do that. Um, and so. Um, that's kind of one of the main things. Uh, I'm like, I'm not a real tall guy. Um, and so like my, my healthy weight range is, is like 140, 150 kind of range. Um, and you know, this last week I, I kind of found myself, I stepped on the scale and I found myself within single digit numbers of, of hitting like 200. Um, and, and that's not a, that's not, that, that was kind of like a scary place to be. Um, and so... Um, I, I definitely was like, all right, I need to definitely make some changes here. And I've tried in the past, um, making, you know, room in my schedule for, um, 
making room in my schedule. Uh, so cut, try like, oh, I'm going to cut back on YouTube. Oh, I'm going to get rid of my schedule on YouTube so that I can just kind of, that'll give me more free form. I won't feel as pressured to put content out and things like that. And I can get some of these other things done. Uh, but what that just ended up doing was I ended up putting out twice as much content because I wasn't restrained by the schedule. Um, and then, you know, oh, well, uh, this year we did, okay, well, we're just, just going to update on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, and I was like, okay, that'll be great. Only three episodes a week. I can do that. That'll be easy. Um, but then, um, I, uh, you know, I, I was like, well, we're still streaming twice a week. And then we've got this subscriber engagement series, which is two hours a week minimum. Um, and well, that's just, that's just the recording portion of it, getting the battles to then record and edit and upload and all that stuff. So that probably takes three or four hours a week. And, um, <laughs> and then it just kind of spirals out of control, um, to the point where, yeah, I'm putting out, you know, content every day of the week. I'm not actually, I haven't actually reduced my thing. And so I, I've kind of learned over the years of doing YouTube that, doing piecemeal like cutting segments out of my because like my life at this point is youtube i go to work i come home and i do youtube um and so like trying to cut segments out of that life to fit in real life uh is difficult and what i really need to do is i need to clear the slate uh get my real life routine set back up and then figure out where youtube fits in with all of that um and so that's kind of my plan here um, you know, not only just the health stuff, which I re was kind of the scariest stuff that I needed to take care of, but also like personal stuff. You know, I, I've definitely not been, you know, through all this with YouTube being my life, um, have not, uh, not put as much effort and, and not been as good a husband as I could have been. I've not been as good a brother or a son or, uh, or caretaker to the fuzzball and fluffy or, you know, I've definitely, you know, my priorities have been other places. Uh, and that's, uh, that's not really how it should be. Um, and I, it kills me that that's true, and I have to admit that that's true. And, uh, and so I need to, I need to put some more time into the, my relationships. I need to just, you know, put people first as opposed to, you know, putting YouTube first. And I need to, so I need to, you know, get my health right, um, get in a healthy routine where I'm, I'm going to the gym, you know, every day or doing some sort of exercise every day. Um, as opposed to, you know, getting my wife out the door in the morning and then sitting at my computer until I have to get ready and go to work and then coming home over lunch and putting the dog out and sitting at my computer and doing it and then coming home and sitting at the computer until my wife gets home and then sitting around with her and like I, I, I have to I have to be more proactive um, and so not only that stuff but there's also professional stuff um, you know I'm in a skill-based industry and um, I you know my portfolio is very very important on how I'm able to get jobs and uh, I've kind of noticed lately, uh, as I've kind of been putting some applications out to kind of test the waters, um, I've been noticing that uh, I'm not relevant anymore because I haven't gotten a single callback on any of the jobs that I've applied to. Um, and I've got a job. I'm not like out of work or anything, um, but um, I've been testing those waters to just kind of see, see, see where I'm at. And it turns out I'm irrelevant. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I still have things in my portfolio that I did in college because my current job well, tangentially related related to what I'm doing or what I'm like here for um, is uh, it doesn't really provide me a whole lot of portfolio stuff. Um, and uh, unfortunately, that's kind of what people are looking for. Uh, and so that, that makes me kind of screwed. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's bad. Um, and I need to take some serious time and get my portfolio back in, in a place where it needs to be. Um, and, uh, and so I've got to do that. I've got to, you know, work on my health. I've got to, you know, and it's just, YouTube is one of those things that it's almost like an addiction where you just keep, you, you start it and you, you know, you kind of get the endorphin highs, you start getting views, you start getting, you know, subs and all this sort of stuff. And, and then like, you just, you know, that kind of stuff maybe tapers off, but you still keep doing it and you don't even really necessarily know why. Um, it, it, I mean, it's like the textbook definition of an addiction. Um, and, and addictions, you can't really break piecemeal. You kind of have to go curl turkey. You've got to, you've got to get it off your plate. Um, and so that's what we're going to, that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to, we're going to take a couple of weeks, a couple of months, no, a couple of months. It's not going to, I don't want to, I don't want to mislead you guys. It's not going to be a couple of weeks. Uh, they say that, you know, it takes a month, uh, a month or two, um, to, uh, really get something, uh, established as a routine. And, uh, and once you once you do that, then it's it's easier to just keep doing it. And I've never really been a big exercising person anyway, um, but um, it's definitely going to be something that's going to be difficult for me to to really get going here. And um... yes, we got him. Uh, sorry, <laughs> that was my final loot. What I need for my loot box. Um, and so it's going to be a challenge. But I've got to rip that band aid off. 
um, and get out of this kind of depressing cycle of YouTube. Because um, with as with any addiction, like it just you know after a while you don't even really know why you're there, and um, and you know you, you 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 get the views and things like that, and that's great. And then like you know you put out something and, and you get nothing. And like I'm not depressed, but you it's it's very depressing. It's a very depressing hobby, um, and. Uh, and it's a hobby that kind of it becomes your life. It's not a hobby. You, you, I keep saying that YouTube is not a hobby. It's a lifestyle. It eats up all your life, and um, and it doesn't leave room for a whole lot else. And there's so much else, even outside of like the important adult stuff. I got to take care of. I got to get take care of my health. I got to take care of my professional, you know, uh, you know, resume portfolio things like that. I've got to be a better, you know, in my relationships. Um, there's a lot of creative stuff I'd like, to, just other projects I would like to tackle, but that I never have the time to to deal with. Um, and, and, and so I, I really just, I need this time. And I know that, um, in talking with my friends and with my patrons, so I kind of let know this was coming ahead of time. So they weren't blindsided. Um, I know that you guys will be supportive about this. Uh, and it means so much to me that you guys will be. Um, but, uh, it's something I got to do. It's something I got to do. And, um, we'll come back, you know, I'll get my, I'll get my life in order and, uh, and, you know, and then we'll come back. Um, and it won't look the same maybe, um, you know, we're, we're going to, we're going to kind of just see how it fits and where it fits and if it fits, uh, sort of thing. But I plan to, at least on some level, come back to the channel. Um, again, what that looks like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, you know, will I still have time to run three Minecraft series? You know, Minecraft series are huge time sink. Um, I don't know. Those are, those are series that take a lot of time. Um, and they get more views, but they also never end. And, and anytime I want to play a new game... Um, I, I have to add something to my schedule as opposed to replace something because it's like those things never end. It's not like a story-based game like the Pokemon stuff that I do where those things eventually end and then you can put new things on your docket. Um, I don't have that, uh, I don't have that benefit or that ability with Minecraft stuff as much. I have to, I have to disappoint somebody. I have to, I have to kill a series before it's time, um, because, uh, because I just I don't have any other option if I want to remove something from the channel. Um, and so it's, it's one of those things where... You know, will all of those come back? I don't know. I don't know. Um, will streaming come back? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, streaming's one of those things that I don't really get a lot out of streaming. Um, uh, it's 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 one of those things where I'm such an introvert, and streaming to me feels like it feels like going to a party. Like I'm such an introvert that it, it streaming feels like a it's like a, a very social experience. And I don't really care much for, like, long, uh, drawn-out social experiences. Like, I love best, like, 30 minutes sort of thing, in and out. Um, and, uh, and streaming feels like going to a party, which is, like, my nightmare. Um, but not only that, I'm stuck there for, you know, two hours when I want to be done in a half hour. And, at the same time, I'm not only at the party, but I have to... Um, I have to entertain everybody at the party. <laughs> and it's it's a uh, it's a tough thing. It's a tough thing. So probably streaming won't be coming back if I had to guess. Um it might. It might. It certainly could, but uh, I'm not guaranteeing anything. Um because honestly, I just I don't know. Um uh and and it's just one of those things that we're going to play it by ear. If I, if I ever decide I want to stream, then I'll stream, but I'm not going to probably go back to a scheduled sort of setup. Um, it's just not one of those things that has added beneficial things to my life. And it's not like I'm like other streamers where constantly tips are just flowing in and things like that. I mean, it's, it just, I, I get nothing out of the experience and it drains me and I dread it. And so I'm just not going to do it anymore. I'm just not going to do it anymore. Um, and, and so that's going away. I don't know if it'll come back. Um, you know, some of my series that uh, are currently running like Pokemon uh, Crystal Wedlock, um, and Pokemon Showdown Gray version, those two series are actually going to get wrapped up. So while I'm going on this break, I am going to take the time and finish those two series out um, because uh, I think that, you know, they're story-based series. They're both pretty close to the end. And I think for my own my own uh, kind of edification, I'd like to just finish those out and not have to worry about um, those two sitting there. Um, the other series, though, like I said, Jurassic World, Time Shot, uh, Patreon, those kinds of things probably are going to go on hiatus and uh and may or may not come back i don't know um at, at my at, currently i'm not planning on leaving time shot um our policy has kind of changed to where you can potentially still be in the group without 
uh, playing on the server. And while I still I want to I want to play on the server, um, and I plan to play on the server, I, you know, Minecraft series are just they take so much out of you. And I I don't know if I'm gonna have time for them when I come back. I don't know. My plan will be to do so, but I don't want to make any promises I can't keep. Um, and uh, yeah, so I think we've kind of covered everything. Um, so for the months of June and July, um, you know, while my, you know, for sure, at least, um, there won't be anything coming out for me. Well, for part of July, June, there will be, cause I already had some stuff pre-recorded, um, and I don't want to leave old content just sitting there. So, uh, probably there will be some, you know, some, you know, wedlock stuff will be coming out. Um, and, um, there will also be, uh, stuff from the gray version and there will be an episode or two of Patreon and uh and probably time shot there were probably like one other episode of jurassic world things like that just mainly so i can kind of give this same sort of talk in those series so that people make i make sure everybody knows what's going on in case they don't watch the vlogs um but but then it's going to be kind of radio silent on the channel i'll still be in the discord i'll still be you know doing all these other things but um it, it's going to be one of those things that um i just kind of have to take that break um and kind of go cold turkey and uh and then see how things shake out so, um, yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for the support and for the understanding that I know you guys will, I already know you guys will give. Um, you guys are awesome, and um, I can't wait to uh, come back and continue on these series with you guys, um, and come back and be Tortimer the Grey again. Uh, but for now, I've got to go be me and uh, and figure out uh, the real world. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Tortimer the Grey, and you guys have been great. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know um in the comments or in the discord or wherever you guys would like to uh wherever you guys would like to do that um and uh i'll try my best to answer all of that for you um but uh for now i'm signing off thank you so much for watching i've been torment the gray and you guys have been great make sure leave those likes comment subscriptions for me guys and i will see you all back here next time i stupidly walked into that um all right i'll see you guys next time bye bye